medical and you, scientific background was? I can Google. I what was your medical and scientific background? I don't background? have a medical and scientific background because so I'm what a smart are your person and I can Google. So you think your Google is better than a doctor? or something? Hell yeah, because you just disputed when 96% of all biologists agree that at the moment of conception, a unique, whole, living human being... Hello guys. What's up? Hi guys. This is the showroom. Um... I'm bringing to you a very interesting video and pro-choice college um, students is confused in biology, Kristen Hawkins. So with no further ado, um, let's check this out and let's see how it goes. Are you guys ready? Let's go. What is a fertilization? You can Google it. Go ahead. Okay. I can tell you, it's not a human being. What is it? Is it a call bear? <laughs> <laughs> what is a zygote? A zygote of what species? Because Human. of lots of different zygotes. There's, there's call bear zygotes. Mm -hmm. There's elephant zygotes. Mm -hmm. What's a zygote? You have Google, you tell me. And what is your background in medicine and science? Fertilized egg is an embryo. An embryo is an early stage of development of a multicellular organism. In general, in organisms that reproduce sexually, embryonic development is part of the life cycle that begins after fertilization and continues to the formation of body structures. Mm. A fertilized egg is an embryo or a zygote, no matter how you want to call it, that's a member of our human being. You're using a dehumanizing term to dehumanize human beings in the earliest stages by mm. saying, oh, it's just a fertilized egg. A fertilized egg, when sperm meets egg, bam, a unique human life comes into existence with a brand new genetic code that's never existed before and will never exist again. Okay. And that and new genetic code, life. what is it? Is it dead? It's not alive. It's not a life. Wait, how can it grow into a baby if it's not alive? It's not a life. It's not a life. What is it? So it's, it's living, it's but thing. it's not a life. It's a thing. It is a clump of cells. I'm a clump of cells. Yeah, and you have one. I'm a, I'm a thing. Yes, and you have a brain, and you have brain waves. So, and you have the ability to have consciousness. You can feel pain. An embryo has the ability to feel consciousness. Not until the third point. trimester. So now, okay, so what you're saying is your value as a person is based on your functional abilities. Hmm. Which is actually our Okay, economy. let me hear, let me hear. Who says who? Says the law. Which law? Bodily autonomy is until you have consciousness. Yes, that is how bodily autonomy works. That is why you are able to harvest organs from people who are brain dead. And that's not how the law works because in PCB Planned Parenthood, the Supreme Court allows abortions to be restricted by states at about 24 weeks. But we, but we know a child. A lot of people would argue that a child at 24 weeks isn't fully cognizant of who he or she is. So is KCB Planned Parenthood wrong? People have varying opinions about it. I don't think life begins at a heartbeat. And a heartbeat bill is not even a heartbeat yet. It's fetal cardiac pull activity is how you call it? Yeah, because it's, it's not a heartbeat. Yeah, it's just part of the heart that's developed. Yeah, so it's not mm. a heartbeat. The heart, heart, the heart isn't beating, beating yet. It's just it's not pumping blood, it's so it's just not a heartbeat yet. But it's not a heartbeat. It's just sending electrical impulses, which is not a heartbeat. Mm. And I asked earlier what your medical and You're, scientific background was. I can Google. I what was your medical and scientific background? <laughs> I don't background? have a medical and scientific background because so I'm a what smart are your person and I can Google. So you think your Google is better than a doctor or something? Hell yeah, because you just disputed. I think she's raising it up. of all biologists agree that at the moment of conception, a unique, whole, living human being comes into existence. They don't believe you want to call it a fertilized egg. It's, it's also alive. called, via Google, an embryo or zygote. Those are stages in every person's life. You didn't come from an embryo or fertilized egg. You once were one. Mm. And your value today as a human being that makes you irreplaceable was the very same even when you were a fertilized egg or zygote in your mother's fallopian tube. It's the same because mm. it's a slippery slope. If at any moment you start saying, well, I don't believe you have human rights until you have consciousness. I don't believe you have human rights until you fully have the ability to reproduce. You don't have human rights until you're fully grown. That's a slippery slope because every single one of us would come up with a different, different definition of when human rights begin. And throughout our history, as I pointed out at the beginning of my presentation, 
Throughout history, when you allow people to decide what characteristics deem a human being worthy of life and that life worthy protection, we already decided that, that with the Terry Shibo case in the Supreme Court, which stated that if you don't have brain waves, then you do not have bodily autonomy legally. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people I know would deeply disagree with what the Supreme Court said, just like how I disagree with what the Supreme Court said in Dred Scott and said that human beings who are black weren't full persons. Or the, the, the Supreme the Court said that in Plessy v. Ferguson that, yeah, you can have separate but equal sounds good to us. Or what the Supreme Court said in Roe v. Wade, the unique whole living human being doesn't have the right to be protected. I disagree with a lot of Supreme Court rulings. And by the way, what's the Supreme Court's background science? Because I'm pretty damn sure <laughs> that Roe versus Wade, the seven men that ruled what's Roe versus Wade, what's their backing on it? out the decision saying, we're not scientists or philosophers here. I wish scientists were the ones that were making these decisions. Yeah, me too, because 96% of them agree that human life begins at the moment of conception. The question is, is that human life battle? You're like arguing yourself in a way it doesn't sound great for you. Excuse me? You don't, you just denied like science to everyone here. It is a life. It is a member of our species. That is what that is undisputed. That it is a life. It what you're arguing like is that that scientist. life doesn't have value. Let me help you. You're arguing that that life doesn't have value. That a woman's life has more value than your own. Hmm. I don't really care what you call it. Call it a zygote, call it a fetus, call it anything. It's in the slope. It's in the process. Because I have a small dream. Okay. Because I'm, I have a big dream, starting small, don't mean you don't want to call it dream. Okay. Let's look at butterflies. They have process. Butterflies has process it starts from. Because it starts from um, the littlest um, processities, don't mean you wouldn't call it a butterfly. You definitely have the process. Everything has a process. So I see no reason why you want to say, okay, a baby in a womb shouldn't be called a baby or it has no life. That means you're disvaluing or degrading life itself. You're degrading humanity. You're degrading the existence of like procreating. Because having a baby in the womb or having anything called it effects or anything, it's a baby is definitely going to be a baby if your allies grow out. So you can't say because it's not a baby, so you have the right to take it out or end it or put an end to it or stop to it or don't want to call it a life. It might not have a heart, but it has a life in process. So what, what, what are we saying? What are we saying? This is really, <laughs> she's really confused in biology. She's really confused in biology. The, even if, even if Christian Hawkins didn't do or didn't major in, in medicine and science, doesn't mean she wouldn't know this. She, she knows it because she has the Google phone. She could Google it. She could check the meaning of everything. There's Google for everything. You could check. So I don't know. Let me know what you think in this video in the comment section and I'll be so happy to check your comments out. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for always coming back to watch. Peace and God bless you.